Shalom, beloved. Welcome back to Code Searcher. Okay. <clears throat> Serious confirmation here. Let a thing be established at the testimony of two or more witnesses. Folks, I got up this morning and uh, <clears throat> the Ruach Kakodesh confirmed something. <clears throat> I don't normally do this. I don't normally put myself out on a limb and say this is a high probability of this event taking place. But I am going to do it uh, at this moment. Uh, we are at a high probability. And again, this table is Atomic Holocaust. The reason why uh, I'm absolutely sure and I, I was absolutely sure about the comet colliding with Mars. This is different because it's a, it's a confirmation from Rabbi Glazerson who is working on the very same table. This has happened before about two or three times. Um, very same table. He posted the very same table within a few hours of mine. Uh, he posted his first. However, I think I've been working on this longer. I was working on this before I went to California. But he posts his, and then some hours later I post mine. And uh, I just want to show you that. So this is a confirmation, folks. Absolutely, from the Ruach HaKodesh. What are the odds? Think about that. The probability that a, a Torah code expert, an Orthodox Jew, in Jerusalem, post the very same information I post. That is a huge indicator that you was telling us something here. Now, I know this was on my heart hard. I could feel the grieving heart of the Father about this. The judgment's coming. So let's look at what he's got here, and then we'll go and compare. Because he had found um, a few words that I didn't find, and I found a lot of words that he didn't find. So uh, let's look at that. Planes flying over it. So no doubt there's a tension. Comes more and more, and the threatening even. The threaten a few days ago is a hydrogen bomb. Okay. What he's putting together here is North Korea threatening uh, to attack the United States. Uh, also, the hydrogen bomb deal. Um, <clears throat> so, just uh, bear with me because I'm going to stop every once in a while and, and explain what he's saying. So, whatever we see all over now, Really threatening from North Korea, which can bring Holocaust, the term Holocaust. So let us see what... You say, now let's look in the codes and see what is there about North Korea threatening the United States atomic Holocaust, which is only in the Bible one time. That is the thing. He is looking at this, this table at a skip of 3133, which is the original skip. I have mine on a row skip, which means we went from a cylinder. And this is this is not scale. So I'm just using it as a uh, teaching tool. But there's a PVC pipe. Say that this this cylinder was this width at 3133, and I put a row skip on it and made it this size. So now we're looking at a smaller cylinder. And I'm going to go into a teaching using those props on another video and explain a little more. But that is essentially what I did. Is when I found the table, I took it to a row skip. It's at 1044. Which, if you remember in the video, I said it. it I, I felt the Ruach telling me 10 kings or 10 nations and 44, which is the current president we have. Um, so let's continue. What we found in a table, the program, and this is what came out. 
I mean, in fact, what we use the same, very same program, folks. He uses a different version, but it's the very same. Um, you see, it's once in the Torah of Shoah to omit. Once in the Torah, one, it's not interesting. Once in the Torah. Once in the Torah, and you see there's no letters in between the letters in the axis term. Okay? So, <clears throat> let me just show you the difference in, in mine. You see how there's letters in between? It's because I made that cylinder smaller. So, the scripture's spiraling around uh, that cylinder at a, at a smaller width. So, there's there's more verses in between. So, what it does is it opens up more scripture that has hidden. And so what he doesn't have is, for instance, this line up here that, that talks about Amalek and what happens in the end of days. Now he has a word, and I didn't have this in my video, which is Miamin, uh, which is terror. Uh, it's here several times, but I found it in one line in the end of days, right in the word end of days at a, at a skip of three. And then uh, he has vertically right next to it. And you see how when you put it on a row scale, on a smaller uh, cylinder, the axis turn t tends to tilt into one direction because it's flowing in a spiral. So it, it tends to kind of kind of tilt. So so my axis term is at, an, at a canter uh, with this very same word he has, Miami, terror. Vertically, right next to it. So let's go back. You see here, Mami, and you see you there. You see there. He has the, where the Ted is. The children of Israel, right there. And that is where the Ted is. So I'm going to take you over so we can compare where the Ted is. You have the children of Israel right there. The thing, the difference is because he didn't put it on a row skip, he doesn't have the lines in between. So he wouldn't have had the judgments, which makes up the word NATO. He wouldn't have found the word NATO here. But you can see his word, terror, in the, in the purple there, with America in the light blue. America there. So now, uh, I've added his word to my table to, uh, to see what, where it comes up. And remember, I, I called it Pesach, is a, is a date to remember. This is a time where the plagues were, uh, were, were actually the death plague consumed Egypt. And uh, it's a possibility, a day to watch right there. So be, let's be very watchful. You remember there's many, many countries in here, over 10, um, which means there could be alliances in some cases. But uh, look down here where, where China is, the three letters, sin is China, but you have, me yeah, I mean, <clears throat> terror, so China is, called, is directly connected, you have North Korea, now he says Zofen here, there's, there's, there's two different meanings here, hidden is also the meaning of Zofen, but it's also the word for north, is hidden. The throne of the north is hidden. Zophan. That's where I had Zalots, the, the submarines that are hidden. He called it North Korea, which I knew it was North Korea in the first place. You already told me that. But it crosses over children of Israel. He doesn't point that out in his video. Nor does he point out the three occurrences in close proximity of war. Uh, neither. So we'll go over and continue his video. But I just think this is amazing how the Ruach Kakadesh has confirmed something. And um, once again, you know, this has happened before. But this is not the first time. This time it's ha actually happened within a matter of hours. So imagine, on different sides of the world, the Ruach is, is working in two different men of two different doctrinal, uh, doctrinal beliefs. And revealing the very same thing. That is a special thing, I believe. See, he's got Zophon. He's calling it the North. Korea. See, there's no letters in between Korea. It's a very same table, folks. 
Mm-hmm. He's got communists in there. But a good meeting of North Korea coming here parallel to Shoah to Omid and Titgaruba. I mean, this is the verse speaks about teasing, teasing. them. Teasing them. This Korea who my threatened. Threatened. On Asota Brit. Asota Brit is the United States. Asota Brit is teasing. And teasing and threatening. I call, I, I, for some reason, he's got the year there. Tav Vavs, 2016. He's also got an extension, what's called an extension to that. It's still 776. These things will be shown clearly. In fact, it's really... In 5776, these things will be shown clearly. So the last really few days even, the threatening of the North Korea and the... Within a few days even. Coming again and again, this threatening. So, Folks, I really believe that you will want us uh, to take this seriously. Um, we know that a, a third world war will happen. It's in the scriptures. It's in Revelation. It is in Zechariah. Um, it will take place. It, it, it go- goes with other cataclysmic events. And you can see that going on all around us, things that are happening. Fukushima has been bleeding for years. Pacific Ocean is dying. We got a, a president that is the spoiler. And whether he is the vessel or not, he is at the current time the forerunner for the man. Now, whether he does that in this administration or he carries on through its secretary general at the United Nations, uh, that is yet to be seen. Keep in mind when Isaiah prophesied about Yeshua, it took seven year, 700 years for that to be fulfilled. So uh, we can't expect everything to culminate in one day. This is a process. It's birth pains of the woman in travail. But this, I, I believe, with everything in me, and this explains the attack that happens right before the revealing of the revelation. I've, I've seen that pattern. How uh, I know he's showing me something very deep and serious because the attacks are just right there going. Unprovoked, uh, so to speak. Provoked by me doing this, but not me uh, antagonizing. Uh, like I said before, it's just like a swimmer thrashing in the sea. You're going to attract just sharks. So that's what happens. So, um, powerful. This is very powerful. This is a very, very small cylinder we're looking at in the Torah, by the way. I was kind of surprised it wasn't in the, the prophets. But it's in the place where it talks about keep my commandments and my laws. And you will live in the land in peace. Uh, but we don't. As a collective nation, we don't. So there you go, folks. Uh, very strong confirmation from Rabbi Glazerson uh, on the other side of the world, working on the very same access term uh, when I was. Shalom. And uh, Yahoo will bless you. And uh, thank you to those who support this ministry. I couldn't do it without you. I do this full time, folks. Um, that is my life. I have nothing else. I work this farm and I do these codes. And it is for his glory, not for mine. Shalom.